Hey, how are you doing? Actually, never mind. What I meant to ask was, how are you doing on TikTok? Keeping a close eye on your analytics can help you decide everything from what content to make to when the best time to post is. To grow on TikTok, you've got to analyze your analytics with an analytical eye. Hey, I'm Carmen from Hootsuite Social Media Team, and this is Hootsuite Labs, where we teach you the science of social media marketing, how it works, and how to be successful. In today's deep dive, I'll show you everything you need to know about TikTok analytics and how to use analytics to bring in more views, shares, comments, and likes. Oh, and if you care as much about our analytics as we do yours, make sure to subscribe. To see your analytics on TikTok, you need to have a TikTok business account, which sounds like it costs money, but miraculously it doesn't. I guess the best things in life and on TikTok are free. To switch to a TikTok business account, First, go to your profile. Tap the ellipsis at the top right of your screen. From there, go to your settings and privacy, then manage account. Under account control, hit switch to business account. From there, you'll be able to pick the category you best fit into. Think beauty, health, wellness, restaurants, personal blog, even pets. Pick a category and celebrate. You're a business. Eat your heart out, Bezos. To check your TikTok analytics using a mobile device, hit that hamburger style icon at the top right corner of your profile and then tap business suite. From there, go to analytics. You're in. Hot tip. If you want more advanced analytics that can report these TikTok results alongside all your other social networks, may I humbly recommend you try Hootsuite? Here's a free 60 day trial. So next, how do you actually read your analytics? Well, TikTok divides analytics into four categories, overview, content, followers, and live. Each one provides lots of in-depth metrics about your performance, but we'll just go over the most important ones. In the overview tab, you can see analytics from the last week, month, or two months, or you can even choose a custom date range. Want to know how your account performed after you posted that super timely all I want for Christmas is you lip sync in 2020? This is the place to go. The most important metrics to watch in the overview tab are video views. This is the total number of times your account's videos were viewed over a given period and the most general way of telling how your TikToks are doing. Number two, profile views. This is the number of times your profile was viewed over the selected period. This TikTok metric is a really good indication of brand interest as it measures the number of people who liked your video enough to come and check out your profile or people who have searched for your profile. Three, followers. This is the total tally of TikTok users that follow your account and how that's changed within that selected date range. If you find that your follower count shoots up after making a certain type of video, well, that's a pretty good sign to make more like it. The content tab shows which of your videos have been the most popular within a selected date range. It also provides information about each post you tap through. The most important metrics to look at in individual posts are the totals. Up at the top, you see the total video views, like counts, comments, shares, and playtime for each post. Two, watched full video. This is the percentage of people who watched your video all the way through from beginning to end. Three, reached audience. This is how many individual users watched your video. Four, video views by section. This tells you how people found your video. The follower tab provides information about your followers, including a breakdown of gender, as well as what part of the world they're viewing from. You can also see when your followers are most active on the app. The most important metrics to watch for here are follower activity. This shows you the time and days that your followers are most active on TikTok. Look for when activity is consistently high and post regularly in that time slot. Two, sounds your followers listen to. TikTok trends are often underscored by audio tracks. So check the top sounds your followers have listened to to see what's popular. Trends move fast on TikTok. So if you use these results for ideas, plan for a really quick turnaround. Three, top territories. This is where your followers are from, ranked by country. Keep these places in mind if you're looking to localize content and promotions. Now that you know how to read your analytics, here's how to use them to your advantage. Pay attention to what videos get the most likes, comments, shares, follows, and profile visits. Is it day in the lifestyle videos, trending dances, transition videos, replies, stitches, some extra specific niche? Whatever it is, find what's working and do more of it. Two. 
Subtract your reached audience from your view count to get a pretty good estimate of how many people were compelled to watch your video more than once. The algorithm will give more reach to videos that people rewatch. So experiment to see what you can do to encourage multiple views from your audience. Use video views by section to determine where traffic for each post comes from. Traffic sources include the For You page feed, your profile, following feed, sounds, searches, hashtags. If you're using hashtags or sounds to boost exposure, here's where you'll see how well that worked. Four, if you have access, check out the sounds and videos your followers watch to get a sense of the TikToks that are most popular among your followers. Have a look at this section often to see if it sparks any ideas for your content. It's also a great place to scope out potential collaborators. Five, use the Discover tab to search keywords. When you search a word, TikTok tells you how many views that hashtag has received. The top video that used that hashtag in popular searches that contain that keyword. If those phrases apply to your video, well, use them. There you have it, a complete guide to TikTok analytics. Now, when your friends ask how you're doing, you can check your top territories to answer, I'm big in Japan, actually. <laughs> if you've made it this far, hit that like button in the notification bell so you'll know when our next video is live. And drop a comment below to let us know what you'd like to see next. Drop a comment, it doesn't really sound like me, does it? Leave a comment, sprinkle a comment. Am I being too analytical? Impossible.